So how to access uh, UFI variables in Linux? Um, Linux kernel exposes UFI variables. In historically, there were two ways uh, it does it. Uh, first was sysfs based method, uh, which was used early for EFI and, and UFI. But that method was uh, replaced by EFI var fs uh, file system, uh, which was created to address uh, some shortcomings of, um, of sysfs. Um, first, like one of the main problems with uh, old sysfs mechanism was uh, was the fact that it supported just uh, one kilobyte uh, variables, and this limitation uh, was was because it was inherited from the old 0.99 EFI specification, so it was inherited from pre UFI time. And uh, these days, uh, UFI variables can be larger even than single single page in Linux. So sysfs is no longer the best interface to handle uh, those structures. And um, so sysfs is no longer um, used and will will not be described uh, in this course. Uh, these days, operation on variables are performed through a special file system called EFI varfs, which is typically mounted uh, in uh, slash sys uh, slash uh, firmware slash EFI slash EFI vars and um, UFI variables in this directory can be created, deleted and modified. Deleting and modification might, must be explicitly enabled. So by default, it's not uh, possible to accidentally remove uh, some files from that directory. Uh, the reason for that was uh, presence of numerous firmware bugs. For example, bugs which were caused by removal or removal of non-standard UFI variables. So mo most likely those variables were uh, vendor-specific uh, UFI variables which were used used during the boot process because removing of those variables caused system hang. And because of those issues, Linux uh, developers decided to prevent uh, ac accidental removal by setting correct uh, parameters for files. Creation and writing to variables require special tre treatment. For example, uh, string file names in, in our EFI vars directory need a special format, uh, which is first variable name and then dash and then vendor GUID. And so in, in UFI spec, uh, we typically provide those as a separate parameters and we identify variables through vendor GUID namespace, not through, not through kind of connected vendor GUID and variable name. Second thing is that file must start uh, with UFI variable attributes. And third thing is that writing to the file must be done uh, with one write operation. So it's kind of caring about atomicity of the operation. So sudden uh, power down will not break EFI vars uh, file system.